Kingdom, Volume 37, Chapter 394, Spectator. Okay. Got a towel in that general on the front? Hmm. As I thought, they're up to something. But when I returned to our headquarters yesterday and looked at the field as a whole, there didn't seem to be anything suspicious. Hmm. Send out Rambu Haku. Yes, sir. Rambu Haku is approaching. Roughly 1,000 men. 1,000, again with so little? Hmm. It's the same as yesterday. Just what's going on? He's probing us. The great strategist, uh, Ryo, has already deduced that there's something off with our movements. Huh? Could it be that he's realized it? Has our plan been exposed? No. I imagine he's hoping to discover some hints by investigating us. But he does not yet have a concrete idea of what we're up to. Uh -oh. But most of all, even I have absolutely no idea just how those three teams intend on closing in on the Wake headquarters. It truly is, just like being a spectator. <sighs> Boom, the dude comes in. Gafu! Racking. Stab. Oh, we're at Ohan's team. Slash. Rah! Boom! He's getting pelted with the. What was that? Shield or helmet? Oh no, it's club. Okay. 1000 man commander. Thunk. I still reckon. This sort of. Oh, uh, this, uh, this sort of all out brawl. They didn't like us all, at all. Yep. The Kanjo unit's tactics have always been hit and run. Huh? Quit complaining. Uh. Uh. Kyukyo. Uh. Sh uh Shotaku. Okay. This is also the Gyokuho's way of doing things. Hmm. You mean let themselves take it easy at the back? Early on the third day. Ho. Oh. You wish for Kanju unit to take the center and serve as the main attack force? Due to your unit having the most men to spare, we will have your 1,000 man unit assault the enemy's 5,000 strong center. Like, huh? Was that meant to be a joke? By deploying our reserves in between the two wings and having them assist the center, we should be able to make up for the, for the difference in numbers somewhat. In that case, shouldn't you take up that role yourself? The Kanju unit is a group that excels at mobility. It is only when we are placed at the outer wings that we are able to demonstrate our true potential. There is no need for mobility in a battle with Earl Shi's army. Then where, then where will you be during the battle, young master? Or she was previously mistranslated to, as Shihaku. Oh, Earl Shi. Until the moment Earl Shi shows himself, I intend to hide myself right behind you. Our center is having difficulty. They request reinforcements. Bah, don't we outnumber them? We are, uh, what are our men doing? Earl Shi. It's like, looking up, thinking about, uh, the girl, her sister. All cavalry, move out. We will leave not a single enemy alive. We're moving out, forward. Wah. They're going full force. They're coming. They're coming, Captain. They're all she himself. They're making a beeline right for us. Hmm? Didn't take very long for the climax to come. Do not fear them. Reform your formations. We will receive Earl Shi's unit head on and stop their advance right now. Wah. They're like taking care of me. Keep moving. Or just keep moving. Target their foot soldiers. Don't let them get close. Keep them away from Shindono. Clop. Phew. Shin. Our men are giving up their very lives to push the, to push our way towards Gohome's headquarters. The Gohaku units gonna be coming too, right? Shoot, shoot. Ah, Gensan. Squeeze. You better not screw this one up. Oh, Han, he's coming in. Boom. He's going face to face with um, the way dragon. That's somebody looking over on a cliff. Just knowing that this battle is going to make them famous instead of me uh, already puts me in a bad mood. It's time. He throws his cups. Those stupid brats. Heavens have mercy on our butts. 
if you don't show up in time, because I know I won't. Let's go. And they're going up the canyon or down the uh, steep hill. The Roku Omi army begins its advance. Got a star in the sky. They shoot something in the sky. The Gyoku Ho versus Uroshi army battleground. Shoot. Darn it. The soldiers I painstakingly raised are being killed one after another. He's looking back. Rumbling, they're like just coming through. Like, it's like a needle. And they're just taking everyone up. Clop, thud. Or she of the spear. To see that your uh, to see that your name is no idle exaggeration, you have my utmost respect. However, this time you will you will fall by my spear. Clop. Oh. Gyoko unit Captain Ohan is here. Coming up. Chapter three hundred ninety five. Ohan's duty. Dancing up. Boom! Clang 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 clang. They're just like willing on each other. Splur. His injuries from yesterday are popping over. Ooh, he dodges. God, off the horse. Wait, my eyes have gotten somewhat used to his speed, but oh, he's hit off. God, he was like, why is it bending? Oh, he's like, just he keeps getting jabbed at. Ah, his power. Slide. Oh, ah, darn it. When the world is he, the speed he wields his sp his spear with, along with that. There's a difference in the nature of our spears, unlike mine, which emphasize which emphasizes accuracy. To be able to punch through a single point, his is a spear that seeks the power to bring down a foe with only a single blow. Widely considered to be the best in China, Earl Shi of the spear. It is said that he was sent to brutal battlefields from a young age. Was that strength attained by mowing down countless masses of enemy in the enemies in the past? Ting ah! Somebody come from mine. Hoo ha ha! The Earl never said anything about this being a duel. Ch We're going to yes. Slice ah! In like butchered. D don't approach him without a plan. We can't afford to lose any more men. Ah! Boom! They're going in. Han, Han, Sama, Han, Sama. Do you despair? Commander Kanjo, this keeps up for much longer. Shh. That's why I told you this morning. Get flashback. Doing that would only lead to a repeat of yesterday's failures. It's true that the only way for us to break through the enemy forces in half a day is is to slay Earl Shi himself. However, that is impossible. For that is impossible for you, young master. After what happened to you yesterday, I'm sure you're aware of that yourself. And so long as we have no means to defeat the Earl, the best course of action would be to alert General Tao and request a halt on the operation. We should then regroup and reform ourselves, and send a request for reinforcements to the Osun Army stationed to the north or to our north. What, Kanjo? What do you think? This is also for the young master's sake, huh? Our Quinn forces as a whole still have yet to take too many losses. But the operation were to continue on ahead and end itself in failure. Our side will be the ones to suffer massive casualties from any uh, subsequent way counterattacks. And as the man responsible for such a disastrous defeat, the young master's name shall be greatly tarnished. Oh. It is precisely through emerging victories against such impossible odds that one is able to achieve fame and prestige. Ooh. He just walks away. And don't simply decide that I am no match for Earl Shi. It's like, ooh. Why are you in such a hurry? Walking away. Huh. You have been negligent in your duties. Uh, a junt and bon. Huh? Reining in the young master and keep him in check is your job. Hmm? Ooh, how could I stop him? Han Sama's perception has a long has at long last reached a territory that far surpasses my own talents. Just like how he was the one to come up with our current plan. In which case, 
All that's left for me is to believe in him and continue supporting him from behind. Hmm. And you call yourself the young master's right hand. Oh, oh, oh I got a stab. Tink, stab, got him. Uh, it was like, oh, Hansama, how dare you? Thrust, slash. He's at his limit. Has the young master pulled back? A junta ban you? Huh? He's really, uh, he really is. Bon you. He's like looking up to his belief. All troops, huh? Not yet. Wait. All troops, continue fighting. Huh? Oh. What the heck? Are all of you planning on... Kuhaha. <laughs> Looks like these guys. Uh, they're staying to fight to the death. Don't be absurd. They're looking... I've, I've only just started on my path. No matter what. I must be the one to slay the great general Wei, Earl Shi, of the spear, with my own hands, and take Cho, and take Cho, Cho Yu in the name of Quinn, as well as everything else that comes after. Huh? Everything that comes after? Look at him. I don't have the time to spare to retreat. Cheap victories from, uh, from peasant, uh, from, oh, from, um, from battles are not, are not enough. From uh, Piant, uh, whatever. If I do not continue to achieve great victories one after another, clop. Then I will never become a great general whose name is etched into China's history. Boom. Run this. This is not some fickle or naive dream. This is, as a rightful heir to the old family, it is my duty and obligation. It's just like, please. Hansan. Or Hansama. So that's how it is. Don't underestimate him. Ah, he's coming out of spear. He's finished. Like, oh, doom, they both strike. Huh? And he nicked his, nicked his guard. Uh oh. Is, is Owen, like, having the upper hand now? Did he, like, find out how best Roshi? Okay, chapter 396. Days of Bonte. Days upon days of training. No one's gonna let you go. Tagline. Boom, they glint. Cling. Split. A single flash. Ohan's spear reaches first. Uh oh. I like, everyone's like, what? Pulls back. Oh. Roshi's pulling back his spear. Huh? Sees it. Boom, they clash again. Gets it again. Boom. He strikes. Or he's close. What? He got him on the cheek. Huh? No way. He managed to hit the Earl, not once, but twice. What? Does, does this mean he's seen through Earl Shi's spear technique? Uh, a judge, uh, a judgment. This, uh, unbelievable. It's unbelievable, but Hansama has managed to, has managed to catch Earl Shi with his form. It's like, boom, huh? Like Earl Shi, whose techniques were self-taught through actual combat. Han Sama was uh, was trained from the foundation up in the in the or in the orthodox spear technique. And in that spear technique, there exist countless different forms to be used against your opponents. Uh, defense counter offense uh, forms devised from uh, for different effects. And if in combat. Hans Sama is able to utilize these forms. Earl Shi, the reason you will fall by my hand is because you let me observe your technique for too long. What nonsense you, uh, what nonsense you have to write? Those so-called forms are nothing but theories that exist only on paper. But he's been using them. <laughs> what use is swinging around, swinging around a sword in a, in, uh, in a place that isn't the battlefield? Getting cocky just because you, uh, just because you, just because you fluked. That's right. To properly utilize those forms in actual combat would require ex extraordinary amounts of training and experience, especially when up against an opponent like Earl Shi. That is that, but that is exactly what Hon Sama is demonstrating. Has finally borne fruit. Those days upon days of ex of exercise and training. It's like boom. That's right. I, I'm the only one who knows. He's been training like all this time. It's looking. No. Oh, he watched his father like train him. 
No. The basics start from the center of your right half. Huh? Like, ah. If you're letting him take up the spear, then you should find a proper teacher, uh, Banyo. Yes, my lord. Lord Osan probably did it on a whim, but that was just how rare of occasion it, it was to see him exchange words with Hansama. Thud. Like, doing it. That's right. It was on that day. It was on that day forward that Han Summa's training began. And it, is, and it is through that steady effort that he is now. Boom, they're going again. They block it. Ooh, got Earl Shea again. Oh, whoa, Han Summa. Oh, Han Summa. Clop. Again, foo. Uh oh, do, 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 do. They're just going at it. Boom, 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 boom. Clang, grit. Oh, we got, we're back at Shin. Okay, clang, grit. Grah! Still going. Boo, 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 boo. They're just like going back and forth like rapid fire. He he's breaking Han Sama form or Han Sama's form with just brutal strength. Wait, what? That's not Shin. Wait, or oh yeah, that's Shin. Okay. Then we go back to Ohan. Like Han Sama cough. Ugh. Not good. The young master's used up all his strength. What? It's like we're gonna Earl She. You possess a weakness. Huh? A weakness? Well ha ha. As if the Earl has anything like that. And that is going up. The fact that you are a human being who has rejected the notion of living. Huh? Like still going boo 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 boo. Han Sama. When the world is he? The thing that fell off to the the thing that felt off to me yesterday was due to how you was due to how he lacks the instincts to, of self-preservation. All humans, by nature, will protect their own vitals, our reflex. And he's not doing that. But Earl Shi, for whatever reason, that does not apply to you. The actual reason matters not, but... Actually gonna go through? Against my ability to penetrate a single point, that will be a fatal weakness. If I'm able to push inside by using my form, going in. Do 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 do. He's going in. Screech. Make it through. Crash. Going in. Ah. Oh wait. He like hit him. What? Hey, Osan. A walking corpse like you. Don't try to block my path, you guy. He, like sees a single point. Wait. Dilhan just. He just did it. He took his spear through his chest. Earl, Earl she's like down. Like sob. Oh, Zama. Oh. He actually took down Earl she. Chapter 397. Uh, Onwards to the headquarters. Did they hit you again? Give flashback. Are you going away again? Yeah, tomorrow. Please come back safely, brother. Please. Come back safely, brother. At long last, I return. Boom, it just goes through. Huh? Uh oh. Han Sama, Earl Shi of the Wayfire Dragons, has been slain by Ohan of the Gyoko unit. Earl Shi, splurt. Earl Shi, he did it, he did it. Like, poo, you actually did. Young master. Kikyo, Kikai, Soman, uh, Soshin. Uh, go spread the word that the captain has slain the enemy commander, Earl Shi. Yes, sir. Boom. Oh. Owen's like falling down. Ah. Grab. <laughs> he stopped. Marvelous. Absolutely splendid. Uh, 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 ab absolutely uh, stupendous. Han Sama. Okay. But we don't have much time before noon is, is upon us. We must quickly treat your wounds and then hurry on, on towards. No need for that. We need, uh, we go now. Uh, the Gohome's headquarters. Oh, they're going in. Meanwhile, at this time, splash, sploosh, splatter. Shin was, do 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 They're just got all out welling on. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Ooh. Exactly. Shin's like being knocked down. Boom. Blah, shit. Clinch. Huh? Okay, we get this guy. It's like a mask on. There's no special trick behind their strategy. Demi's plan is to have the right wing charge into the fray from the sides. 
pincering Goimo san or sama between them and Shin's personal unit. Okay. Which is why they're bolstered wait which is why they bolstered their right wing with their best fighters. However, so long as we know that that they are coming, defending against them isn't hard. We simply need to shift Gomo Sama's battleground towards the left and fill the vacated space with defensive troops that are ready to receive the enemy. Against Kyokai? On top of that, my troops have always my troops have always excelled at defense. But not against Gokai. As long as the right wing doesn't reach them, Shin and the others in the center will remain isolated and without aid. Yeah, kill them! They're going in. Surely, this isn't all you have. Oh, the battle against the strategist. Strategist of the High Shin unit. Karoten. K. Karoten! I know. This plan is for the sole purpose of allowing the High Shin unit to reach Gohei Mei's headquarters by, by noon. Oh, and to achieve that, it's necessary for, Chin, uh, for Shin and his men to step head first into, into death. Wait, good. Uh, Gai Mo and Shin have, have drifted towards the left far enough. Now, the signal. Huh? Yes, ma'am. Don't, 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 don't. They're pounding their drunks. That's, that's the signal, Kokai. Huh. What is? Huh. As I thought, they have a plan. Now then, what will you do, Hai Shin? Kokai. All troops. In the right wing, halt! Skid, wait, what? They're stopping. Swiftly disengage from combat and re and reassume. Yeah, reassume your formations. Huh? We're turning right and hereby making a direct line straight for the enemy's main headquarters. Whoa! That's because they like pulled off from the headquarters, huh? What? The right wing just huh? Disengage. The right wing pulled away. What the heck are they doing? They're leaving their commander behind and running for it. Whoa, ha A feint? Do they intend on looping around to our rear? No. They're they're clearly heading heading past us. Are they aiming for Gohemei's headquarters? Yep. But if that were the case, then you would be failing to consider the actual field. Okay. Even if you were to bypass our troops here. Gohei Mei's headquarters is still guarded by several more reserve armies, working in tandem. In total, they number 30,000 men. Charging in when you don't have even a thousand soldiers with you will only result in being caught. Send 500 cavalry after them as a precaution. Yes, sir. And I'm sure you must be aware that with the departure of your right, right wing, the blades which we had gathered in the left against them Shall all be shall all be turned towards your captain Shin. Uh oh, redirect all your redirect all our so, uh, shoulders, our uh, soldiers, in the left towards the center. Butcher every last one of those fools who uh, who have who have charged into our midst. Hurrah! Here, here they come. Ah, let me swarm in the center. They're going after the captain. Ah, they were already surrounded to begin with, but now. With those numbers, Curtin's like, uh, ah, yeah, yeah, tying up with the shields, yeah, bro, it's do or die. The right wing has managed to break through. All that's left is is for you to is is for us to. Raw slam. Oh, he's, wait, wait, Lieutenant N, crash. He's down. Uh, she's looking back. Go left. Try to move. Try to move slowly to the left. While fighting them off, Danyu, Ryusen, do all you can to stop the enemies from coming from the right. Hurrah! Sugen, Ryu, make us a path to the left. Leave it to us. Ha ha! Your Haishin units have having quite a bit of of trouble. I, I thought you would have come up with some sort of miraculous plan, but it appears that it has ended in failure, as I thought. There's a difference in the level of our strategist. Boom, he's like still pounding on him. Ah, our men are the the captain. Uh, you wish to leave Shindono right in the middle of the enemy's ranks? Huh? So going by what you just said, 
Shin and his 2,000 men will be left right in the middle of uh, Gaimo's armies. Th 13,000 troops. We have no choice. If we, uh, if we wish to allow the right wing to, uh, to make their way to Gohemai, then it's absolutely essential for Shin to stay behind and keep uh, Gaimo and Junso occupied here. But uh, how exactly are we meant to put out, or how exactly are we meant to pull out after the right wing breaks through? Shin, honestly speaking, I don't believe you'll be able to break out with, uh, with your own strength once you're, once you're caught inside. Even if you did somehow manage to actually kill uh, Gaimo. Clump up, yeah, 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 kill them all, crush them. So don't, so don't worry about, about trying to escape. Push them back, yeah, yeah, and just keep on fighting. So long as you keep fighting, I'm sure. Kill them all, yeah, Commander Danyu, yeah, I'm sure. Squad leader Taku, yeah, stab. We're done for. What the heck are you doing, Ryu? Huh? Like, help will come. Huh? Wait, help will come? Are they getting reinforcements? There's a large army that she's looking over to. It was like surprise looking over. From the right, enemy troops approaching. That's that's not the highest unit. Good grief! What troublesome kids! Tao Army General, uh, Ryu Koku. He's coming. He made in time. What? That's the Ryokoku army from the next battlefield past the mountains. Heh <laughs> You guys aren't the only you guys aren't the only ones who can work together with other armies. Now who's the one uh, with the better strategist? Gai Mo of the Wayfire Dragons. The Haishin unit begins its counterattack. Oh shoot. Intense. Chapter three hundred and ninety eight. Three hundred and ninety eight. Reason for not fighting. Okay. That's a big picture. Uh, allied reinforcements from another battlefield, huh? I suppose that shows that the Wei soldiers aren't the only ones who can call on other units for support. But still, I'm presently managed to creep their way here without us noticing. I've been outplayed. Wah, gah, they're just going through. They made it. They actually made it here in time. It, uh, it was lucky for us that Raikoku, the most quick-witted commander amongst Tao's inner circle, happened to be situated right next to us. Hmm? Last night, uh, Raikoku's command tent. You wish for us to send you reinforcements? Tomorrow, the high unit will, will be using Shin as a decoy to draw the enemy's attention, thereby allowing Kokaku, er, Kyokai uh, to lead a detachment to assault Gohan, Gohome's headquarters. Once Kyokai has, uh, has departed, I wish for the uh, Ryokoku army to ride to Shin's aid, as he will be surrounded on all sides by enemy forces. Hmm. So, I'll have to, so I'll have to take my timing into account. Correct. Coming too early will we'll result in catching Gohome's, uh, Gohome's attention. I'm saying, I'm sorry. Uh. It can only be after Kyokai is gone. But tarry too long, and sh uh, but tarry too long, and Shin will be the one to fall instead. What's this? You're the one coming to us for help, but you have the but you have the cheek to demand all these other requirements. We have our hands full with our own battles. Do you think we jump to help you? Even assuming I did send help, they would still need to bypass the mountains. Bypass the mountain, school mountain. Getting the timing right is easier said than done. No, if it's General Ry Ryukoku, then I believe it should be a simple task. Huh, true. Ryukoku, somebody's like stopping him. <laughs> We've already invested so much of our resources into this plan. Having come this far, the Quinn army absolutely cannot allow any failure. Everything is for the sake of taking Choyu. Do not get carried away with yourself. Knowing that it, uh, it is shameful to have to ask others for help in warfare, I know. 
Tarot 10 of the Haishin unit. You owe me one. Oh, oh God. Ooh. Still, Kaimo of the, of the Wayfire Dragons, huh? In a way, you could say he's one of my... Wait, he's one of my Lord Okai's loose ends. Oh. Ben. Uh, T.I.? Tay? Te? Uh, fan out to left and right and hit their flanks. Our target is the Raging Bull, uh, Gaimo. Yes, sir. It's like Shin. Ew. Looking back. What's this? Shin of the High Shin unit? Why not just say Shin? Did you purposely set yourself up as bait to trick me? It's not just you. We're doing this to pull one over the entire Wei army. Gaimo sama, please fall back. Jinso sama, give the word. He says, da uh, he says dangerous enemies have appeared. Hmm? It's like blade. It's like a dragon on it. Okay. So just like Okai and the others, you two deny me a proper conclusion to a duel. Huh. Obviously, if you're willing to stay here and keep fighting, I'll gladly play along. Wayfire Dragon Gaimo, who? But something's bugging me. Hmm? I heard from your strategist, that Genso guy. How Okai and Rampai avoided your duels. But are you sure the truth wasn't that they were avoiding you? So much as they didn't consider you to be a worthy opponent. Oh, he's caught his attention. No, foo foo. Uh, it seems we meet again, Gyomo san. Dear me, you're like a new. You're like an. Wait. You, okay. You're like a newborn babe who has somehow managed to grow into a raging bull, but without maturing in the least. Even if you even if you guilelessly challenged me to a duel, honestly speaking, it's not quite worth the effort. Go 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 go. <laughs> Do you understand what I mean? Oh Okay, oh just laying on the jokes. Once you have discovered something worth clashing for, I shall gladly send you to the next world. Very well and he just turns around. Huh. Huh. So even you are spouting the same things as them. Those fools who try to dress up warfare as some romantic struggle with their words of dreams and settlements. You have been poisoned. You have been bo You have been poisoned by their teachings. She and the Haishin unit. There's no such uh, luster in warfare. Significance of battle or dreams. These are nothing but honeyed words to lure in those ignorant people who don't know any better. War is simply a slaughterhouse for the strong to butcher the weak, however they please. Nothing more, nothing less. Huh. You're wrong. No, I am not. Ooh. That's wrong. Clang. You almost saw Please hurry. In that case, I'll I'll give you until your and I'll give you until our next meeting to prepare. A satisfactory answer for me. As a man who is following the, in Okai's footsteps, Boom just takes all of Shin's men down. Here comes Gomo or Gaimo. Jinso Sama. Gaimo Sama is heading right into the enemy. What? It's like, Kuh. Follow, uh, follow Gaimo Sama. Hmm? Wait, Fire Dragon Gaimo. Ah, and he like goes in. Shin's like going in and slashing. Ah. Come on, guys. Just hang in there for a bit. Or just hang in there a bit longer. Ah! She's like looking. Hmm. He's in this. He looks up. At, oh, he's looking up at the sky. Come with me, you guys. We're breaking out through the right. Huh? We might have gotten delayed a fair bit. But now we're heading off to Gohomai's headquarters, too. Huh? It's like they're all exhausted. They're looking up at the sky. Oh, they're looking at the sun, okay. It's still daytime, okay. Er, urgent, urgent, news, urgent news, what is it? The enemy forces to the north have bypassed the, Ur the Urshi army and are heading right towards our camp here. Oh, oh, it's coming in. Furthermore, Urshi himself has been slain. What? What did you say? Uh, Urshi of the five dragons was defeated? What numbers are we dealing with? More than 3,000. They won't be a problem then. Send out the headquarters garrison and the reserve armies to intercept them. Yes, sir. Report. Order report. For God's sake. 
What now? Quinn troops are closing in on our headquarters from the west. What? It's like, it's the Rokuomi army. And they number 8,000 men strong. What? It's like, oh, here comes Kokai. The, uh, the enemy's reserve units have finally begun to react. Rumble. It's obvious that the reaction was delayed. Rumble. And that means the other two groups must have arrived first. That's why we, uh, that's why we chose to come slightly late. Gaha <laughs> ha! Yeah, right. We will be the ones that take go home, uh, go home, go home. Yeah, go home. May's head. Ha! <laughs> They're going in. Kill guy. Oh. Chapter three hundred ninety-nine. Closing. The scenario devised by Ohan. Toppling every. All the pieces down. The target is uh, go go how go have his head. Why am I saying this? Why am I having trouble? Yeah, stop him, Han Sama. Please do not push your Kyokuho unit. Three thousand men out of my way. Going in, Rokuomi army. Eight thousand men. Yeah, yeah, Kyokai. Hashin unit. Two thousand men. And you can see it. That's Gyohame's headquarters. So they have. 11,000, 13,000 people just going to headquarters. Oh, against like, what was it, 30,000? Report, the enemy approaches from the south cannot be, uh, can't be stopped. Our western defensive line is also being pushed back. Report, our forces to the north are struggling against the enemy. Uh, both uh, Gai and Sama and uh, Jicho, uh, Jicho Sama have fallen. They've broken through the first line in the west. Curse it! There shouldn't be that many of them. <laughs> Just come in. Just focus on crushing one of them first. That should uh, that should give us time to reform our defenses. Darn it! If it were only two, it would still be manageable. But for three of them to hit us at the same time is our reserve armies still haven't completed a, def a defensive encirclement. It would be better call it would it would be better to call them back. And bulk up our defensive here. Defenses here. If we send the order out now, will they make it in time? Could it be that this was no simple coincidence? That those three that those three enemy forces planned to hit us at the same time all along? It can't be. Something like that is. That's exactly what is happening. Step he's coming out. It was my mistake to have assumed that the Tao army would be the main attacker of the Quinn army just because his his army numbered the grace out of, of the enemy out of the enemy forces. Oh my sama. Right from the very start, the enemy's true of offense was to be conducted by those three strike forces. But but it's true that Rokuomi fielded over ten thousand men. But the other two should have should have only been five thousand men units. Would they really have tasked the attack to such weak units? Our greatest miscalculation <laughs> is the fact that those two 5,000 man units would actually, would actually manage to bypass the five dragons, Earl Shi and Gaimo. If I remember correctly, both the, uh, Gyoku, uh, both the Gyoku Ho and Haishin unit are led by relatively young commanders. You could say they planted. Uh, their plan itself is also youthful. Quotations, huh? The fact that we did not catch on to their plan must mean that the only thing they decided on was to hit our headquarters at the same time. However, this plan is a double-edged sword that carries the risk of causing the entire Quinn armies to collapse if even one of their strike teams failed. Tao would never have considered Gamble as risky as this. Could it be? That this plan was thought up by either the Gyokuhon or Haishin Unit. What? The era of the six great generals and five dragons has passed. It has now fallen to myself and, and Raiboku and Raiboku's generation to steer the rudder of China's battles. Hence, I believe that Kenki uh, would be my destined rival in Quinn. Seen as we are the same generation, however, was surprising that the next generation of Quinn's youth 
who are destined for greatness could very possibly be already rising to prominence right now. Where are you going? We got Ohan, we got Shin, Kyokai, <laughs> we got the other guy, uh, the lax one. I forget these guys' names. The next generations, great figures. Report, they've broken through our second line. The Zami has already come this far. What? How could this be? What are the men doing? Send out all the men we have. We must keep the enemies away from my headquarters. It's useless. Tao has sent the three blades in which he holds absolute confidence in. Now that they've reached our throat, or, yeah, or, yeah, our throat. They cannot be stopped. That's Homesama. Kantoku. Huh? Boom, boom, boom. They're coming. She's coming. The cheering ahead is getting louder. That means a battle must have broken out around Gohemai's headquarters. Huh? Captain. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. Hooah! We've managed to successfully pull off the three pronged attack. And that means. Uh, all that's left is a contest to see who take who can take Go, uh, Gohemei's head first. Boom. Coming in. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, I was like, just going with the spear. Lieutenant coming in. Boom, he's going with the club. Boom. Boom, just taking off heads. Boom. As a matter of fact, yeah. But the Gyokyo unit that had arrived first. And the Rokuomi army uh, that followed knew that their roles in this fight was be the diversion. Gohomei's headquarters would only fall via an opening created by attacking it from multiple directions and forcing the defensive garrisons to shift directions and leave their rear exposed. HQ, Rokuomi, Gyokyo. In other words, it was it was duty of the it was the duty of the Haishin unit. Who had arrived last to strike the decisive blow against Gohemai, Gohemai's headquarters. Gokai's going in. Go, go, go. We can do this. It's Gohemai's headquarters right there. Okay. Don't let them get past. Yeah. Don't interfere. He's like going in. Uh, Gokurai, go, uh, Garo. Huh. I leave the rest to you. Gokai's going in. Ah, wait. You with it. Gah. You can't do it by yourself. Get back here. Here comes a single rider. Skewer them. They're ready with their shields and spears. Hmm? Horses like right there. Huh? Wait. Did she like jump in there or she's no, she's going through them. Like on the floor. Yeah, what the Blah, huh? Boom, she's like going. Report. A portion of the Rokuomi army is about to break through our second line. The West requests reinforcements. You fool. This isn't the time to be worrying about that. Huh? Kyokai's on, like, right there. Uh oh. That. That's the enemy. That's an enemy soldier. Hurry up and kill them. Do, do, do. She, like, slashes them. What? Kyokai arrives at the headquarters. Like, gonna do something. Chapter 400 Fall and Retreat. Speed 400. Wow. Thanks, everyone. <laughs> what? What the? She's like, just butchering everyone. How did clatter? She's like, going in. Oh. Wah. Wah. Dash. We're on attack. Huh? Ah. The command, uh, the command tent's under attack. She's looking back. Gah. Kill her. Wah. Wah. Gah. Gah. Like, just ripping limbs off. Oh, no. Homei Sama's going to. Homei Sama. Gah. Clink. Takes out the sword. Gah. Huh? No! Darn you, he's going in. Just chopped off his head. Boom. Splat. Thunk, thunk. His head just flies. She did it! Oh! Home sama ah, You freaking did it, kill guy! Ah, grab his head! Ah. So he was a fake, huh? I have no clue what Gohemei's head actually looks like. But it's obvious given your reactions to now, huh? Where'd he go? Go to, uh, go to hell, Quinn Scum. Huh? Was it him just then? He got away. But if he's abandoned his headquarters, then... Garo, I... 
set fire to the surrounding region, uh, raise high, raise high a smoke signal to, to alert the entire battlefield of the Fall Ways headquarters and the Quinn's victory and the Quinn army's victory. Huh, <laughs> got ya. Just leave it to us. Boom. So bad. Yeah. Huh? Huh? Hey, over there. Looking over there. Kanyu sama. Could that perhaps be? He has his face just scarred up with like. Uh, to the various Quinn soldiers still struggling in battle, I, the side of that pillar spoke. Pillar spoke. I don't see it. Okay. Boom. Now we see it. Was like a long-awaited beacon signifying their turnaround victory. Their headquarters has fallen. Look, no doubt about it. That's the way headquarters. We've won. Oh, what? That's no way. Like boom. Ooh. Heck yeah. Well done. Boom. Han Sama. Bah. Darn Haishin unit taking all the glory for themselves. Zah. How could Han Hame Sama? Foo. Come on, it's time to clean up the trash. Let's finish off these leftover mutts. Hoah! Boom. Shin, we we did it. We've won. Foo, you bet. Hmm? Rumble. Wait, what? Tao Army versus Riao Army at background. Huh. What? Riao. Uh, Riao sama. What happened? Looking over. Hmm. Tao sama. It would appear that the Hai Shin and the Gyo and Gyokyo units have admirably fulfilled their task. Don't forget, Raikomi, sir. Boom, boom, boom. They're going. Home sama, please let's take the front. There's still the possibility of us running to the enemy here. Home sama. Wait, something happened. With the loss of our headquarters and command chain. Our very scattered for our very scattered forces are now left completely isolated from each other. Furthermore, the morale will also have been robbed by the sight of that uh, smoke plume, making reforming them a difficult uh, proposition. However, there still lies one flaw with the enemy's uh, strategism. Strategism. Stratagem. Okay, what? Like, really okay and if we are able to able to capitalize on it right now hmm? is it you home Ryom uh Ryom sama Ryom sama what happened home my sincerest apologies our headquarters was lost to a simultaneous attack carried out by three enemy units huh they were able to bypass Earl Shi and Gaimo Earl Shi has already slain huh what? Well, this is a well. This is a surprise. I would never have expected there to be someone other than you amongst the Quinn forces, ca uh, capable of defeating Orochi. Likewise, but what's done is done. In which case, all that's left is for us to exploit the weakness in the enemy's plan. In the enemy's plan at this very moment, huh? The weakness. Though our headquarters may have fallen to the enemy's hands. It also means that because they have concentrated all their strength at one point, their heart has be uh, has become utterly exposed. I'm sure you know what I refer to, of course. You mean Tao himself? Oh, huh? In the last three days of combat, my troops have shrunk the distance between them and Tao down to a mere fifth of what it originally was. Got a mask guy. Oh. And as long as we can, and as long as we can be certain that there will be no reinforcements right into Tao's aid, all I need to do is consolidate all my forces, then give the signal to Rambi Haku to lead an all-out attack using everything we have, and Tao should fall in but a few moments. Foo foo. Wait, is he part of the? Is he on the Quinn side? By killing Tao. We will seize the pulse of the Quinn army, swaying the scales back to 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 a way victory in a single strike. The battle to show you is not yet over. Side coming down. Oh no, Shin like coming. Shin just out of nowhere. He's coming with a glaive. Huh? Which one is it? He's looking. Please escape, Homei sama What? You son of a boom! He's just slashing over. He just 
Wait. Did you just... He, like, faked out Shin. Chapter 401. The warrant states from now on. Raise high your arm and reach for the heavens. Shin the front. Shin the high shin slays wayfire dragon. Ryo. Boom. He's down. Ooh. She's like beast mode and nah, nah, nah. he's like falling. Crash. Gah, thud. You. How dare you. Gah. Shin. Captain. We're coming over right now. Let's go. Y yes, sir. Shin. Look back. Could that actually be Shin the high shin unit? Ah, he's like being attacked. Shin's like, <laughs> like still pinning out like two guys. Gah. Like. Just what was the meaning of that, Home? Uh, Ryo Sama's vessels. Huh? Please escape, Home Sam. Home Sama. What? It's for the sake of way. Huh? The strength of the master. The, uh, the strength of the master technician, Ryo, uh, has stagnated in the past 14 years. While I, on the other hand, will draw level. Wait, will draw level with him in one year, and completely surpass him in the next. If the strong are not allowed to survive, then the state of Wei will have no hope of, uh, of lasting through the war to come, or the wars to come. Like, you know <clears throat> your name? Uh, Shuko. Mind your tongue, Shuko. I stand the highest ranking off. I stand as the highest ranking officer in the Wei military. From now on, uh, will be acting as your master. Huh? Send the order for for a retreat. Uh, to Rambihaku. Huh? Beginning with the Berserk. Wait. Beginning with the... Yeah, Berserk. Uh, Rambihaku. Begin with the Berserk, Rambihaku. Are you actually going, huh? I. <laughs> Gohome. Uh, we'll be taking over all of Riyo's assets. Boom, they're coming in. And so, the Wei Army withdraws. Having judged that reforming their troops was out of the question, Gohen May's retreat signal was followed by all the various Wei forces that were spread out across the battlefield, pulling back deeper into Wei lands. In other words, Fu, uh, Goma Sama. No. It was the Quinn's army's victory. Yeah! Whoa! We got the signal to go after them. Yeah? Actually, uh, the one for. The one for do not chase just came down. Oh, so they're not falling. Hansama, yeah. Look at Shin. Shin, Captain, yeah. Heck yeah, we won. We did it. You're alive, uh, Kyoku. Kyoku. Lieutenant, Lieutenant N. Good work, everyone. Uh, Takusan, are you all right? Haha, <laughs> I'm fine. We really did it, didn't we? Water here. Ten. Oh, Kyokai pats ten. Hmm. Kai. Ah, Kyokai. It's Lieutenant Kogai. Yeah. Ha ha. Run off the horse. Phew. Looking up the sky. From this victory, Quinn was able to snatch the key territory of Chou uh, Chouyu from the hands of Wei. Hmm. Um, ha. He mistook who Gohenmei was and killed Riao instead. So it seems, yeah. No, there's a doubt. Still, uh, not only did we win, we even brought down Earl Shi. Those two things would have been plenty by themselves. And right in the final moments, we score another sizable bonus. Indeed. Yeah, they took down two fire dragons. Did they not? What's the matter? Riao's head is on par with uh, with great A generals, you know. See now I wasn't able to defeat uh, Gaimo. Uh, Riao's head feels like something I got lucky on and tripped over. Well, not that I, not that I'll look a gift horse in the mouth. Riao, the man who even my lord Okai and Lord Q themselves acknowledged, was brought down by you. He's like, oh, and to have done it by accident too. What the heck is this stuff? Calm down, Rogomi. Hmm. By the way, where's the on? Where's that online guy? Uh, he should have been summoned too, right? 
His adjutant uh, came by just a moment ago. Huh? Oh, he's like, wait, he's hurt? Saying that due to the uh, to the ferocious clash of Earl Shi of the Fire Dragons, he's currently not in any condition to be walking. That's so. Hmm. Oh, Han. So you were able to beat Earl Shi, a Fire Dragon, just like Gaimo, huh? Ch huh. Still, Chayu itself, Riyo, Earl Shi. Wei has suffered quite the stinging blow this time. Aye. So, what's the plan now? Are we going to set up an outpost, an outpost here, and use it to start invading deeper into Wei's lands? No. It's too early for that. I received order personally. I received orders personally from the chief of military affairs before we set out. Huh? From here on, we will set up a base here and utilize the natural terrain to construct a giant fortress. Whoa. Huh? It's like, are you serious? Something like that will take us an entire year, yes? It's like, no, uh, no shoot. One year. And it's not like Wade's just going to sit there and watch us build either. If attacked, we must repel them by any means, is what he said. Uh, we will send you as many workers as possible. Huh. So it would seem the chief truly does intend on starting this in earnest. Yeah. Huh. By setting up such a firm stronghold on the front line region of Choyu, the chief, uh, the chief plans to begin the process of thoroughly weakening the state of Wei. Huh? Weakening the state of Wei? The seven warring states... What once numbered over a hundred squabbling factions uh, coalesced into seven giant states after 200 years of conflict. The time for that delicate balance to be uh, to be upset is finally approaching. It was Tao talking about, and with the, and with it, the destruction of kingdoms, like she's like just sit back, naturally, will be the ones doing the destroying. The destruction of kingdoms. Wait, is the whole like the whole uh title like kingdom? Like they're trying to build a big kingdom. Okay, like chapter four hundred and two. Um Activity at Kanyu. Okay. You're doing like pounding oh, they're building a wall? Yeah. Like giant things, okay. Two months had passed since the Battle of Choyu. Thud, thud, thud. Like building their, building their fortress. Okay. The work to turn the area into a fortress has has been progressing at a steady rate. It's incredible, isn't it? Uh, the earthworks keep getting higher and higher every single day. Yeah. Going by the reports uh, we've been getting, the Sea of Sanyu next to us has been seeing a lot of growth too. Thanks to all the immigrants uh, they've been getting from Central Quinn, the total population has almost doubled. Seriously, I expect a portion of them will end up being sent here to become part of the workers in garrison. Well, if they want to turn this into a stronghold, then they should be sending more and more civilians here and turn the place into an actual city. Even if you say that, who's going to want to have their families live all the way out here? Uh, out here? the front lines hmm no retreat the time for that delicate balance to be ups uh, to be upset it's finally approaching and with it the destruction of kingdoms Sanyu and Choyu with those two res uh, resolute military outposts uh, in our hands we're in a position to drive a stake right through the state of Wei's heart this will uh, this will become the foothold that will allow us to begin the invasion of Wei. Once begun, there will be no stopping until one of us lies in in ruin. In ruins, huh? Sigh. Our goal, our goal, the path to the re, to the unification of China. Step by step, we're slowly getting closer to fulfilling it. Report. Wei has launched an attack. Uh, they've already engaged the the Kyokai unit uh, in the outer regions, huh? There's no way our enemies are are going to sit there and leave us uh, and leave us alone either. No shoot. Let's go. Uh, Gai, uh, 
Kaigo. Uh, Kaigai. Uh, Sosha. Ah, say this out. Rural capital. Kentan. Rogoku. Sanyu. And Choyu. Is it time for us to take actions? Does he mean the Zhao army? I'm afraid we do not have the, that luxury to spare. Huh? The, map. The, the times are shifting onwards to the next act. The, uh, the act where we shall witness the collapse of the seven warring states. Collapse. As the, uh, as the difference in strength between states become obvious, the weak shall be swallowed by the strong. And the, and the state that is about to tip this delicate balance between the seven powers is none other than Quinn. Like, huh? However, just like how Quinn has been sharpening his blades, the giant state of Chu, who up until now had, had not committed to any large undertaking apart from the coalition war, has also begun to strengthen their military in earnest. Their true strength is, uh, their true strength still remains a mystery. That's correct. So, an age of two superpowers, including Zhao, that makes three superpowers, you know. Slap, slaps in the back, blah, she just like pounds in the chest. We ourselves must not fall behind if we are to make what Futai says a reality. At last, the time has come for the, uh, for the citizenry to make sacrifice, sacrifices and allow our government to shift its focus to our military. What's worse is that the army's condition has deteriorated in, in the period where Rai, uh, Raiboku-sama was away, the exile and all. It's true, it's true that the smallest of shocks is all, it, is all it would take to break the balance now. But for someone to actually take action and share it now, would still require a fair amount of resolve on their be on their behalf. I wonder if Quinn truly does have what it takes to go that far. All that will come down to a single person, huh? The Quinn King Ensai, who shall finally be having his coming of age ceremony next year, huh? That young king who personally rode out to save Say two years ago. <laughs> He's a far cry from our king. It, uh, that's for sure, boy. But the Queen King should still be engaged in a power struggle. Wait. But the Queen King should still be engaged in a power struggle against Raifai. Should he not? Indeed. And in that case, you could say that what actions Kanyu takes next shall shall directly impact the fact uh, the, the shall directly impact the fate of China to come. Boom, Kanyu. A bird from the stairs clack right by do you actually expect us to give you this much money Kanyu is in Kanyu is in immediate need of those funds first you should ease up on Tanrayu uh, Tanrayu rumors say you've already bled them you are you actually believe those rumors you imbecile huh? enough talk of funds more importantly we should watch Chu and Zhao for Creek somebody's coming in Huh? I'll turn around. Ah, clack. Foo, foo, foo. Oh, shoot. Size mother. State of Quinn. Queen mother. Long time no see, gentlemen. She can, huh? They're both like shocked. I trust the two of you have been doing well. You, your Highness. Should I quit? The Queen. I had heard that due to some uh, divination or some other nonsense, she had chosen to hide away in one of the rural estates estates for the last two years so why is she so why has she suddenly shown up here at the palace says unix with her please hold your uh please hold your highness we're currently discussing state matters in court even if you are the queen mother i must ask you to please take your leave now now oh she like pound on the pound on the cheek now now let's not be so formal chancellor cup uh no need to worry. I shall leave the premises as soon as my business is concluded. Huh? And that would be? I was thinking of having the territories of Sanyu and Choyu handed over to, to our royal harem faction. Wait, what? Chapter 4 and 3 The Queen Mother's Goal What? 
hand over Sanyu and Choyu to the royal to the royal harem faction. Just what is? Looking, what's she doing? Like thinking, ooh, truly it's not something to make that big a f uh, big of a fuss over. All right, a large number of of the staff currently overseeing the Sanyu region come from our rural harem camp. I simply propose to strengthen that influence just a tiny bit more. And what exactly would the strengthening entail? For the uh, for the position of governor and the other executive seats to be staffed by members from the three great families who will then see to investing their own wealth into the region. What? With the construction work at, Ch at Choyu, entire area is in dire need of funds. If we are able to get the three great families to pay out of their, po out of their own pockets, then it certainly wouldn't be a big deal. Tap. An excellent idea, your highness. But to suddenly replace, but to suddenly replace the entire upper ech echelon with staff from the three with from the three families may lead to difficulties arising. I'm afraid we will require time to carefully consider this proposal. I have little patience for accommodating your red tape, considering it moves at a snail's pace. Well, leave aside the small details for now. At the very least, the governor shall the governor of Sanyu shall be this man, huh? Uh, a eunuch. Wait, glance. Huh? He's looking at Rifi, or she's looking at Rifi. Take it off. Yes. This is uh, Royu I. Wait. We we seen him before, haven't we? Uh, a great man of considerable talent, with the endorsement of the three great families themselves. Huh? Who? Uh, never heard of him. Who is he? Ro I, where have I heard that before? Ro I, huh? A man named Ro I. He's like, huh? Was it Ro I that male prostitute? Oh, that smuggled. Uh, that they smuggled into the harem to free Ryufai Sama from the queen's advances. Uh oh, is the queen now planning on using him against us? Like come in. Ryufai's like stroking his uh, beard. Huh. Is there something you wish to say? Chancellor of the State Ryufi? So look at him. Not at all. If he comes with such quality endorsements, then I'm sure there will be no issues. Huh? But of course. But please, wait a moment. This matter cannot be decided so casually. Ha <laughs> ha ha. Enough of your prattling, Chancellor of the Left. It's two against one. It's a straightforward majority vote between the three factions involved here. What? That concludes my business. We're leaving. Yes, your highness. Please hold. Well then, I shall be leaving the follow-up uh, the follow -up work to you. Chancellor of the state. Your wish is my command. My time? Why I don't know? You ask? Oh. Oh, he's visiting his, uh, the woman and the child. Hmm. Do you know of him? Yes. As far as I know. That's, that's the name of one of the eunuchs. I'm sorry. Is there some issue with him? No. Father. It's like... Oh. Okay, we got flashback. What's the mean of this? Bringing that on us... Bring on us uh, suddenly. Uh, are we really going to sell the rights of governing Sanyu to, uh, to them like this? Who the heck is that Ruai uh, uh, fellow anyway? But looking at their reactions, the Rifi, uh, the Rifi, uh, the Rifi faction was caught off guard by this too. It felt as if Rifi and Rishi knew of that man, or knew that uh, Ru Roi man. Had the same impression, likewise. Nevertheless, that the harem faction would choose to act here was completely outside our predictions. Including the mysterious identity of, of that Ruai guy, Ruai fellow. It would seem a detailed investigation as to what the harem faction is plotting is required. Like outside, hmm. Uh, what would the coalition? What would the coalition army and recent and other recent events 
I completely ne neglected on keeping tabs on the royal harem as of late. But thinking on it now, the fact that the queen hasn't made any disturbance for over two years is suspicious in itself. Going into hiding due to the results of a divination was, uh, was a public excuse, but she's not the type of person to believe in those sorts of things to begin with. To begin with, begin with. Just what is she? But just what has she been up to? Come to think of it, during court she didn't look. She didn't look me in the eye a single time either. But now that the queen mother has come out of her of her reclusion, we'll finally be able to pay our respects to her. Pay your respects? Uh, uh, um. You see, the queen mother has not met with this child, so um. Well, after all, she's the queen mother's first grandchild. Ah, uh, wait. There's the other boy too. What? That's true. First grandchild, huh? Other boy. Former queen capital city. You were young? Got somebody on the roof? Should you manage to obtain any concrete information, the reward shall be tenfold. Uh, CQ assassin. Oh, there it looks. Sweaty, it'll be fine. So long as we manage to obtain Sanyu, we'll be able to do whatever we please away from the prying eyes of Kanyu. As Quinn's borders gradually expand north from uh, from Sanyu, uh, so will our faction's influence and clout. Not only that, but due to constant warfare, the entire region is in a state of poverty. Uh, we were willing to spend the funds required. Uh, then even an army could be raised. Huh? It's like listening to this. Cuckoo. Those fools have not the slightest idea just how deep the royal harem's treasury runs. Just you watch, Roi. We will raise our king. We will raise our own kingdom. Raise a kingdom? Ah, please wait. Yeah, ha ha. Two kids come in. Huh? Welcome home, father. Father, oh, wait. Huh? Oh, welcome home, mother. Foo foo, of course. Wait, she fathered like, or er, she gave birth to two children? Wait, and they're, wait. Why do they look like they're like five? Aren't they supposed to be like one then? Of course, huh? What? <laughs> Could it be? Those two have had children, but. Oh, he got strike. What? When did he thud splurt? Let me. Uh oh, the civil war's peak draws near. It's raining. The heck? So she had kids with him. For how long? Or would they be like two years old? Okay. Uh, chapter four hundred four. Uh, Lucy. Lucy Chukwe? To desire something simply means to satisfy one's curiosity, does it not? Got right fine on the cover. They're like, it's a big brush, like, jot down stuff. Boop. Huh. Is it complete? Hmm. Yes, sir. Congratulations. Right fi sama. Clap, 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 clap. They're all clapping. Right fi sama. They, uh, they fear of the king's reign, saw the completion of a single great work of, li of literature, penned by Raifai and his retainers. Congratulations! Clap, 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 clap. The, uh, the Lushi uh, Kunkwai, or Master Lu, Lu Spring and Autumn Annuals, or Annuals. Big. It was a work that compelled all the various historical, scholarly, and philosophical texts to date into 12 uh, almanacs, big books. Um, what's going on? They're like watching all this. Seems it's something from the chance of the state. They even had us all gather up. Okay. Uh, covering a wide variety of topics, ranging from rites and music to the use of chi, Military and agriculture. It could be it could be likened to an encyclopedia or encyclopedia, which covered all manner of human activity. 
Perhaps the greatest innovation of the of this text was the notion of splitting a year up in twelve months, an idea which has survived to today. Oh. But clearly dividing a year into four seasons is uh, and detailing specific instructions on what one should perform during each unique month, it gave a sense of order to the people who had been simply living each day without direction. Uh, the eight examinations and six discourses parts of the text were completed in years in years later. Okay, there's multiple step done. And the future generation and for future generations, this test uh, this text served as a com as a completion uh, detailed detailing the different opinions held by agron agronomist. Agronom uh, agronomist, uh, I never, uh, uh, Taoist and legalist of the time, giving us insight as to the as to the mentality prevalent in China prior to the end of the Warring States period. That said, Creek, uh, as expected, if one were to bring up the uh, the Lushi Kungui, it would be remiss to neglect mentioning the phrase a, a word worth a thousand gold pieces hear me everyone i bring you an official statement from the chancellor of the state rifi this text you see this text you see before you covers every topic in our lands and 10000 aspects of heaven and earth all matters from the uh, from past till present regardless of whether you are uh confucius uh, Wait, Confucianist, uh, legalist, or whatever, all are welcome. Okay. Uh, in the event that you are able to improve its contents by even a single word, then you shall be awarded a thousand gold pieces on the spot. And I was like, what? Whoa, uh, a thousand gold pieces? He said a thousand. Wow. A word worth a thousand gold pieces. Truly a flashy ant uh, antidote. Be fitting a Rifi. Ho <laughs> ho 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 ho. I see you're up to your antics as usual. As there would uh, as there would be anyone willing to criticize your work. Saitaku Sensei. Please, I would ask you to take a look through my work down below. Hmm. I'm i I've already read through it all. As I thought, you're quite something, Chancellor of State. With this, your name shall survive these chaotic times through the way of lit literature as well. You, uh, you are too kind. Yo ho ho, still. Uh, your painstakingly crafted uh, magnum opus seems to have arrived at, at a moment of, uh, at, at a most inopportune moment. Ha <laughs> ha, you've heard the royal harem faction. Hmm, is there something else? Well, this is a surprise. Ha ha ha. Not at all, I, I assure you. This has caused me no end of trouble. Curses. Do we still have no idea uh, as to uh, Roe's true identity? What a Ro uh, what a, what a Ryufi. More than that, we still don't know their intentions. Why sign you? Uh, why sign you of all things? In the midst of in the midst of celebrating some texts, in a time like this. We, uh, we've received word that the queen and the families have just arrived at Sanyu. What? Are they planning to consolidate the Sanyu area? Rishi. Why did you not stop them? Does this mean your faction has broken off ties to the royal harem? Huh? That's none of your concern. Hmm. Go ahead, Gun. Gun over? Wait, what? Yes, sire. Both Choyu and Sanyu could be considered to be the foremost of our frontline territories. Wouldn't switching governors like this sow confusion among, uh, amongst our soldiers? If we show any openings, our enemies may jump as a chance to launch a, a surprise attack. Huh? I do not believe Wei currently has the resources to raise an army on, on such short notice. However, I do agree that Zhao with Raiboku would warrant caution. As your majesty stated, I believe the scene may be seeing some chaos at the moment. 
I already dispatched my vessel, uh, uh, Keoku, towards Sanyu. I trust he will be able to quell any unrest the army may be going through, as well as snuff out any plots should uh, should there happen to be one. Like a weird double ponytail. Okay, kind of look like a seagull. Why would you tell the king that much, huh, Rishi? Your own your own investigations have ended in failure, correct? Oh. You must not give up after only a single attempt, and trust you the task of investigating deeper with your spies. The royal harem has deep pockets. If we allow them to, if we allow them free reign outside, then they tr then they truly will become a nuisance. Show you, huh? You want another ten thousand of our soldiers from here? Are you freaking kidding me? Didn't you just take ten thousand from us earlier? What the heck's going on? I don't know either. I don't know either. Some about the new top brass of Sanyu wanted to redo the troop re uh, allocations in the rear in the area. But we're the one. Uh, wait. But we're the one of the. Wait. But we're one of the places that needs soldiers the most. What the heck are they thinking? Make us send another ten thousand to Sanyu. Like I like I said, I don't know either. Ah, this time it's different. The soldiers aren't being sent to Sanyu, huh? Then where? Um, first past Bento, and next uh uh to Taigen, huh? Tuyon, Tayon, Tayon. They're gathering up people at at Taigen to the north. You say? Yes, sir. Uh, from Zetsu Pass to Hokur Hokuri. Even Choyu has dispatched around 10,000 soldiers to Taigon. Choyu? It's not only soldiers. Many of the land's wandering refugees are heading north to, it seems. Kayoku sama. We've also received another strange report. Hmm. The new, government, uh, the new governor of Sanyu, Raiyai. Uh, has just left Sanyu together with the queen and is heading towards Taigen. Huh? What is this? Just what's going on at Taigen right now? They are Taigen. Zhao Wei. Taigen. Tanrayu. Choyu. Quinn. Lies far to the north of Sanyu and Choyu. Taigen was located near the northwest extremities of Quinn's lands, even further than the Sea of. Uh, Tan Rayu, of which the result of Saikyu had occurred earlier during the during the year, while it may have served a, cru a a crucial part in defending Quinn's north northern northernmost borders, the recent conflicts occurring near central China meant that it had not come to much attention of late. But it was this remote land of Tigan or Taigan. I was seeing a huge influx of people arriving within its walls right now. No, the horses go inside. Make sure they get plenty of rest. Thank you for, for your long journey here. Uh, uh. All housing, clothing, and food shall be provided. You may work without worry and begin immediately. Uh, uh, uh. That was not the only thing happening. Don't leave any gaps. We have to finish raising the southern wall by two levels today. And rebuild the tower too. Bring it on. Uh, bring it down. The weapons from Yu Hills and Ba Hills have arrived. There's so many. You can't even see the end. But they take them to the southern and western armories. If they fill up, redirect them to the east one. That's in construction. That's in construction. Yes, sir. Foo foo foo. Something was beginning at the at the city of Tegan right now. We have arrived, right, right? This is Tegan. It's like, why is he always sweating? Character on the flag is I. From right, uh, from Ryu's name. To this, Kanyu. Tanrayu, Tegan, Sanyu, Kanyu. Urgent report. Urgent report. Gallop. Huh? A, a top priority report from Tigan in the northeast. Pant, pant. The Queen Mother and Ryu I sama enter the city of Tigan. And then, on the day before yesterday, they declared that the region of Taigan was from now on to be known as the State of Ai. Wait, what? 
Shut the gates, crash. And then he took uh, Tyun or Tygon of, of Hexi as a state of eye. From the Shinji records of the Grand Historian, eighth year of the Shu Hung's reign. Like, wait, what? What did you say? Wait. So they got all the people to, like, go there? Are they going to go after, um,. Sai? Are they like creating the state of I? So they're creating their own state. And they have all that gold. What? Well, this is gonna be interesting. Got the Queen Mother like doing her own thing. Hmm. Well, um. I don't know, what are your thoughts if you're like reading this with me? Wow. And if you haven't already, or, or, you're, or you're at all new, subscribe, like, comment, leave any suggestions or recommendations down below. I greatly appreciate those. And have a good rest of the day. Bye.